Okay, now, now I'm going to explain to you a running technique that nobody else has. Uh, I discovered how we all run and uh, how to make it better, okay? Now, the experts can't fully comprehend it when I just tell it one after another because they're not trying the different things out. So we're going to try it out uh, precisely and uh, show even the experts how to run better, okay? Now, uh, t turn around facing me. Okay, now, uh, you're going to be running or doing things with your body vertical, okay? Uh, and the reason for it is the center of balance is directly over your feet over there, so you can see which way it's slanted, if it's slanted behind or in front. You got it? Okay. Now, keep your body vertical and put your foot back behind. Walk, it's the same technique. See, this is a steady pace in a walk, okay? Now, um, you can't pick up speed from a steady pace. So what you have to do is, uh, if you want to go faster when you're walking, uh, you have to drop your feet behind and pick up speed. Yeah. See? Okay. Now, if you pick, uh, see, I'm picking up speed with one step and I go into a walk. See? But in, in order to run, I have to do a few steps in order to run behind. See? So, the more steps you take behind, the faster the steady pace is going to be. See, the last step is very fast now. So if you do three steps, you go into a run. If you do 10 steps behind, you go into a sprint, mm -hmm. okay? So uh, that's not easy to get across by just telling them you have to drop your feet behind. The thing is that you have to know with a vertical body, it has to be behind the center of weight. Okay, so uh, what, uh, what I want you to do is run a few steps forward and backward and notice that when your feet drop behind, you go forward, and when it drops out front, you go backward. And that's how you slow yourself down, by dropping your feet more out front. Now, when you're running a, a, a race or when you're training, uh, sometimes your foot comes out a little bit further and you slow down and you don't realize it. And what you try to do is tense all your muscles to feel power. But when you tense all your muscles, uh, uh, you're, uh, you're uh, holding yourself back. See, these muscles here, the quadricep muscles, toss you up. And you just toss yourself up off balance and not try to push yourself forward because these muscles toss you up and these muscles pull the foot back like that. But you can't pull the foot back, try to put, uh, pull the foot back while you're standing up. You can't do it. Uh, no, I mean on the ground, you can't do it. No, no. Yeah, see, because these muscles are preventing it from going the other way. They're holding you up. You would collapse the ground if you try to uh, push back at the ground. But everybody tries to push back at the ground, so they're running like this here, mm -hmm. very tense, because they're using opposite muscles. So you're supposed to just concentrate on using these muscles to toss yourself up and just hop off balance like that and not try to push yourself forward, okay? <clears throat> now, um, I'm going to uh, photograph you uh, uh, running at a steady pace and then picking up speed by dropping your feet behind and see if it works. Okay, so hold on. <clears throat> Okay, go ahead. Now what I want you to do is bend down and lift up tensing all your muscles to feel power. See, that's what people do 
when they're running, they're tensing all their muscles because they don't have a feel for what they're supposed to do. It has to be in your head. When you practice something, like from the time you were a baby, you learn to uh, center your weight over your feet to stand in place. Then you learn to shift your weight and hop to your parents' arms. But you didn't know that that's what you were doing. You, you just learned it. And it's your central nervous system that uh, tells you what to do. But it's confused because it's not in your mind. See? So it, uh, you're trying to do a lot of different things than what you actually learn to do, which is uh, be off balance and to run. Okay? So uh, I want you to bend down and tense all your muscles to, and lift the t tension. Now, now do it. Uh, without any tension, just using your front muscles, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you run so much easier. Now, <clears throat> uh, I told you uh, last time when when we worked with a team, uh, uh, that you're with the Carolina Forest uh, High School team, and uh, I showed them, but I was, I was too fast. See, now I'm explaining it a little bit better so that people could understand that that's what they have to do can't do it another way and so everybody runs the way I'm saying but they don't make the best of it okay so um, now uh, everybody expects that when you first learn the technique that you're going to be a, a champion right away see now what happens is that uh, you're muscles aren't co coordinated. Like if you want to practice drumming very fast or typing, uh, 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 working at McDonald's and, and doing everything very fast, um, it takes time to develop the speed, see? So you'll be fast immediately, uh, but um, you, if you run fast, it's still gonna be working harder. Mm -hmm. So you have to do some of your work at faster than your training pace uh, so that you get better manipulation. See, when, when you're going like this here uh, to do the body twist, which is, uh, works, yeah, see that, uh, you do that easy when you're running slow and uh, if you're in a sprint, you gotta do it as hard as you can because the body twist allows you to drop your feet more behind for uh, more time, okay? So uh, the important thing is to develop uh, stronger uh, manipulation by practicing it, see? Uh, and uh, that, that, so you have to concentrate on doing that manipulation. See, twisting your body. Uh, twisting your body, that's the key because uh, your sense of balance won't let you be off balance unless your foot is going to come to catch you in time. Not fully catch you, but you're behind for uh, picking up speed. And then it goes further behind. See, now, in, in the start of a sprint, when you go like this here um, and lift with the back foot, uh, you are so far off balance when you get off the uh, front foot. And the first two steps you could do that because it sends you ahead of this one and then this one is very far behind. After that, the steps don't pick up as much speed uh, as those first two steps. Mm -hmm. So that's how you beat somebody out on the start is uh, by doing this thing over here where your feet could be very far behind, mm -hmm. see? Okay, so um, all you do is just lift straight up, but you're off balance, so gravity is going to pull you forward, see? So you, uh, you bend that knee, that back knee, and then just go up like this here, and then on that second thing, it pulls you ahead of that uh, foot that's on the floor. It's the same way that 